senior living. Hey y'all. Well, I got a good show for you today. First of all, I got invited down to Flagstaff to the Bluffs grand opening of a senior uh, living center. Um, well, they're apartments in the Bluffs of Flagstaff. Paul and Marco were there. And I'm going to show you footage of all of that. They gave us a grand tour. It was very posh. It was a real grand opening. Great food. Just, they did not uh, pull out any stops. This was an event. So we enjoyed it. It was, it was a good time. But they gave us a tour. We saw two bedrooms and one bedroom apartments for independent living. They also have assisted living and then they have 24 hour care living right there in the, um, they're big, they look like just um, large condos. I think there's like maybe six or seven floors to this, elevators, everything. <laughs> I mean, they even had in the hall, they had little buttons if you needed um, assisted care. They had little buttons that you could push. And there is a, there's a theater inside there. <laughs> yeah, they showed us the theater. There's just all kinds of amenities here. They have restaurant style dining program. They provide all of your meals for you. Weekly house cleaning, trash removal, scheduled transportation, walking paths, library and theater, large fitness center and indoor pool, a putting green, activity programs and all utilities, including internet, cable and phone. Oh my gosh, yes. So the two bedroom was $5,505 per month. They have a deluxe, they even have a three bedroom, which is $6,475. Now they have a studio for 3,000, one bedroom for 4,000 approximate. They have additional of 125 for a garage, 35 a month for covered parking, and 75 for storage. And they had, they um, gave me all the different floor plans this is a really nice place, but it was uh, it's expensive, and it was a lot of fun. And I'm telling you that there are disparities in the social economic standards of seniors. You know, you could be this. <laughs> or you could be this. Yeah, it's... um. But that's the way life is. That's the way life has always been. You always have people that are lower income and people that are higher income. And I want to give you some stats. I am so into the senior information and I want to get it off to you too because there are so many of us now and a lot of you that watch are seniors and I'm going to tell you something else that a lot of you, if you're not a senior yet, you're going to be. I saw a statistic that if you, in the, by, nine, by 2060, there will be 95 million seniors, as long as the world goes as it is. That means one in five of you in 2060 will be a senior citizen. One in five. Can, I mean, the, the power that a group like that has is phenomenal. But there are 52 million 2021, 52 million seniors in the United States right now. Let me get my glasses on. Okay, let's get some, let's get some stats. But first I want to, <laughs> but first, um, and that's not all. But first I do want to tell you that winter is coming. Okay. And I do have, um, some more neck gaiters. What I did was I put a sale on of my neck gaiters and it's free shipping now, free shipping. So if you want to start getting ready for winter and start getting some neck gaiters, because what's nice about them is that you can wear them, like this is a turtleneck, but if you just have like a regular t-shirt and it's like it's black and then you can put a black neck gaiter on, 
looks like you have a turtleneck and it does keep your it keeps your neck warm in the winter and then the summer you can wet it down and it keeps it cold so i do have that sale i wanted to let you know um so please go on to minivanlee.com and i've got neck gaiters there i'm out of arm gaiters totally um you guys wanted arm gaiters why do i wear arm gaiters well, if you're new to my channel, and I can always kind of tell when I get a lot of new subscribers, which I'm getting right now, and welcome, that you always ask me, what are the arm gaiters for? Well, they protect my arm, and they protect, and they kind of hide some bruising. This doesn't hurt. I just bump my arm. When I'm in a small space, it's even worse now since I've been a nomad because I, I kind of bump them on things because I'm in a small space. But yeah, I do get, I do get bruises and I can kind of hide them a little bit. It doesn't hurt. Um, there was always that joke. I saw this joke where, uh, this grandson said, Grandma, what happened to your arm? Cause she had a bruise on there. And she goes, Oh, don't worry about it, son. She goes, a gentle breeze blew through. And this is what happened. I know I can get a gentle breeze and I get a bruise uh, pretty bad. But that's what they're for. They also can keep your arm warm. If you have a, a t-shirt on, you can put an arm gaiter on. And it's almost like having a, a long sleeve. It protects them when I do bump them. It, it keeps it down just a little bit, the bruises. And it keeps them from sun damage. Um, this part of our arm it gets a lot of sun damage throughout our lives because it's in the sun more, right? Okay, so that's what's going on. Free shipping. There's a sale going on if you want. And I've got some collections and I have a few that I just am selling just one by one. So there you go with that. Okay, let's go on to some statistics. Oh, yeah. You know, I love statistics, but let's go ahead and uh, see what's going on with the with the Senior Citizen Center. Okay, <laughs> this is great. The senior total net worth in the United States altogether is $1.6 trillion. Now, the seniors by gender is 47% male and 59% female. Now, spending leads are seniors are buying, they're leading in groceries, pharmacy, travel and leisure. Well, that does make sense, doesn't it? Now, there's 1.4 million seniors living in nursing homes. And that would be for um, like assisted living would be like the bluffs. Yeah. More seniors reside in California, New York and Florida. Well, we know the Florida thing, right? Now, medical spending Seniors spend 60% of the entire market. Makes sense. Now, here's a big one. Online spending. $7 billion annually. We're the largest group that are spending online. And what we do, there's a 1,800 1, average for each holiday season during Christmas, Thanksgiving. Now, for hospice care... That's 5% of the seniors are in hospice care. Yeah. On average, seniors of today are more educated and healthy than in the past. There are problems, though, um, which almost counteracts this. But for the long haul, seniors of today are more educated and healthy than in past times for seniors. Problems could are do include obesity, Alzheimer's, and and some other diseases. So we got to keep that weight down, everybody. And then with Alzheimer's, yeah. Um, see, seniors are involved consumers. We are the most affluent of any age segment. But there are disparities in seniors, but. And that does make sense because we seniors have had the time they're retired. They've had all that time to earn their money. There are people down here, like with our children, that they'll get up there. They will. If they're working hard and they have a career, they'll get up there. But right now, they're, they're raising children, things like that. And uh, they haven't had the time to increase their wealth. Now, 
Yeah, the fastest growing segment online. <laughs> We're finally getting techie. I've been saying this for years and I won't go into it. I told you so. Uh, but, you know, I've been telling seniors for a long time now. Don't, don't pretend like you don't know what's going on with your iPhone and getting online. Look, it's a techie world. Get with it, everybody. Start learning how. It's fun to learn these things. Well, I think seniors have finally figured that out. And they want to be techie. Yeah. Now, here's the Ten Commandments for selling to seniors. Because I looked. There are all these websites and all these articles about how to sell to seniors. Because we are the consumers right now. We are. We, seniors have the bulk of the money in the United States and they want people want our money <laughs> they want us to spend now yeah there's scammers out there that can scam people but a lot of us just aren't falling for it anymore I found an article online I want to read this to you because I found it very amusing it's the Ten Commandments for selling to seniors commandment number one Thou shalt never think that the elderly market is old. <laughs> don't let the old in. We don't consider ourselves old, and don't you. Number two, thou shalt never attempt to scare us into buying. Fright tactics turn us off. Do tell us about independence. There you go. Number three, thou shalt always treat us as equals. You value connectedness, independence, personal growth, and revitalization. So do we. Number four, thou shalt not pander. Never talk down to us. We're not dumb. In fact, we're probably smarter and richer than you. <laughs> well, I don't know about the richer, but uh, yeah, we're pretty smart. We've had a long time. And you know, one thing that kind of adds to the, adds to the, the intelligence is all the movies that our generation growing up, we grew up with TV. We were the first generation to grow up with TV. Now, early TV was kind of mindless, but you know, but we grew with it and we watch movies. We've got time to watch movies. We can, as most of us can, we can figure out things just by watching a movie. You know, they have to make them more involved every year because we can figure things out pretty quickly. They got to really get better and better at it. But we grew up with TV. This was the first generation, the seniors growing up, and we had TV. So we could see what's going on out there and, and learn. So, number five. Thou shalt not bamboozle. <laughs> know that we're skeptical. All seniors are from Missouri. Do you remember that? Um, you can't fool. I think, um, didn't Harry Truman say something about that? You know, you can't fool somebody from Missouri. But give us a few credible testimonials by folks like us, and we're putty in your hands. I suppose that might be true. Thou shalt not broad stroke. Know that all seniors are not alike, obviously. Boy, we as a senior, I know that. We're all just the same as any, uh, any other group of people. We're all individual and we all think differently. Above age 50 are dozens of cohorts, hundreds of markets. Know whom you're talking to or you will be smitten. <laughs> okay. Number seven, thou shalt not razzle-dazzle. Know that we're conservative about consuming. Many of us grew up during the Great Depression. Okay, um, those would be older seniors. Um, but never think that we have no sense of humor. Okay. <sighs> Number nine. Let's see, that was number eight. Yeah, number nine. Thou shalt not glitz. Know that ads should look like ads. And no fancy fonts. To us, they're the floozies of print advertising. I like fonts. I don't know if that's so true. We're not all the same. Okay. Set type at at least 12 point with lots of leading. Use reverses sparingly. Use color. Lots of it. Our eyes ain't what they used to be. Four color defines your message. 
while black and white often gets ignored. Well, well, I took that into account. Don't use so much black and white, although I do love black and white. And I don't wear much color. <laughs> well, but see, I got this color. How do you like? I did the um, how to the DIY, how to cover. You're clear with clear bins with color. Okay. Number 10, 10, 10. Thou shall always treat us with respect. If you want to sell to us, you have to treat us with respect. You can't treat us like we're stupid because we're not. I mean, yeah, there are some with Alzheimer's and they're getting some with dementia. But, you know, a lot of us are just plain old health. We're very healthy. And that proves it in the stats. I do want to read you something. I read about this. Um, let's see. I looked up wealthy versus poor seniors. And I, I, I read about this study. And I'm just, I'm not going to read the whole study. But I'm going to read this. A recent study revealed that American elderly people who are rich or wealthy live better lives than the others, both in terms of health and life expectancy. And then it went on at the end. These discoveries reveal, according to them, can't always believe studies, you really can't. These studies, discoveries reveal the large inequalities present in the U.S. society. If wealthy groups have longer and healthier lives, this can only mean, you always got to be careful that this can only mean, no, it can mean a lot of things. Um, there are many variables and you have to look at those. Um, I do know the scientific method and you just, you can't say anything like that ever. This can only mean, mm, this can only mean that the health system does not work for everyone. Any individual should have the right to a, live a normal life, no matter how affluent or educated they are. Now, the thing that got me is if wealthy groups have longer and healthier lives, this can only mean that the health system... Okay, so they're injecting the health system into this, right? Well, <laughs> there are other ways to be healthy than, be, than using the health system. I, I will admit, okay, two confessions, I rarely use health, health system. I just don't really use the health system very much. I use it if I absolutely have to. But other than that, I can take care of myself. This, I am very leery of the health system. <laughs> Maybe because I have so many of, in my family that are in the health system. Um, I've mentioned my daughter is a nurse practitioner and, uh, we are very up and up, all of the family. We were all very interested. And I've had some pre-nursing and some pre... Well, I'll just say I've had some pre-nursing um, classes in, in college. I was, was going to be a nurse, but I decided midway, no, that's not really what I want to do. And we're just... I had a lot of books around for my kids about the body, the human body. I have a lot of apps on here about the human body, too. So... Um, I like to take care of myself. So it didn't take the healthcare system to teach me how to eat right. I think that there, there might be a disparity maybe of how people are brought up and the intelligence levels. There's so many different intelligent levels, um, of, of human beings. I mean, you got your, your autistic and then you got your Down syndrome. You've got, you got all kinds of, uh, different IQs of going up and up. So I almost wonder in some ways if that might be the factor. I know enough to eat my apples. I know enough to eat my produce. And I know enough to not just walk into the doctor's office and he prescribes me a medication and I just start taking it for the rest of my life. No, I want to like go online. What is this medication? What are the side effects of this? And on and on and on. If you're on medications, I'm not putting anybody down on, to be on medications. Um, it, you know, that's your uh, choice. And I'll make my choices and I want you to make your choices. But I did find that kind of funny in that study that it just, it goes to prove that, uh, the, the healthcare system, um, actually 
No, I think it's, it's, it's the choices that we make in life. We can go to the doctor all we want, but if we're home eating a lot of food and we're putting on a lot of weight and becoming obese, that's your life choice. And so that was, I just wanted to mention that, that a lot of people um, seem to think that there can be this disparity in income and it will involve how healthy you are. Well, I was low income raising four children by myself because my husband passed away early in life. And I, these were the choices I made. And I'm very healthy. I'm here to say I'm very healthy. Which, by the way, I wanted to mention that I do feel a lot better. You all were concerned about me. So I hope you're enjoying the senior issues. Uh, we'll move on to something else pretty soon, but I am enjoying learning about senior citizens, which is really this huge affluent group in the United States. So don't forget about the net gators, minivanlee.com, and I've exercised. If you want to start getting a lot healthier, when you need to exercise. I've got exercise videos. I've got one coming up here pretty soon. I'm getting ready to film it. Get ready for, and I will present it to you and I'll let you know about it. And also, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. It really helps. I love you guys. Thank you for the new members coming in. And till tomorrow. Love you. Bye.